Hello, welcome student. We shall continue today still the biomolecules. In that, in the last video we have studied bio macromolecules and in that we have studied the about protein <coughs> also studied about the lipid and also studied about the polysaccharides today we shall discuss on nucleic acid nucleic acid as the name reveals that they are acidic in nature and found in nucleus that's why it is called nucleic acid means acidic in nature and first and found in nucleus So it is known as nucleic acid, also found in also in cytoplasm, not of DNA, RNA, but mainly found in nucleus and acidic in nature. So it is called nucleic acid. And it was first discovered by Frederick Mesher. Now so what is nucleic acid? Nucleic acid, you know the name of DNA and RNA. that is deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid. That two acids come under the nucleic acid. DNA is especially used as genetic material. And the RNA is take part in protein synthesis. Also, ribonucleic acid is also uh, used as genetic materials in some viruses. There is also genetic materials in some viruses. But mainly the genetic material is DNA. Now we saw that this nucleic acid is made up of, means it is a Polymer of nucleotides. It is a polymer of nucleotides. Means many nucleotides combines to form nucleic acid. Understand? And what is nucleotide is the combination of nucleoside. Nucleotide is the combination of nucleoside and phosphoric acid. These two are combined to form nucleotide and nucleoside is the combination of nitrogenous base and sugar yes, there is nitrogenous base and sugar so we can say that nucleotide is the composition of nitrogenous base sugars and phosphoric acid in the nitrogenous base I have already told you that One is pyrrhine, next one is pyrimidine. So these are the nitrogenous base. These are heterocyclic and these are homocyclic. In these two cycles are found 
and in this only one cyclist These are the cyclic compounds. So now the nitrogenous base and they combines In that comes adenine and guanine, and in the pyrimidine, thymine, cytosine, and uracil. These are the five bases of the nucleic acid so now we see how they are arranged the starting adenine is denoted by a g t c u so they are denoted by these alphabets now now you see how these are Against. One from this and one from this. This is found in ribonucleic acid, not in DNA. Understands? This is found in place of thiamine. There is uracil found in ribonucleic acid. Now we adjust the DNA. The structure of DNA. Adenine, thiamine, adenine, thiamine, thiamine, adenine, guanine, cytosine, cytosine, guanine. These are the, these are attached by the sugars. in both sides the sugar may be deoxyribose in case of DNA and it may be ribose in, may, uh, in condition of ribonucleic acid it means in ribonucleic acid the sugar will be ribose and in the deoxyribonucleic acid the sugar will be deoxyribose understand now these two sugars are attached with phosphate means phosphoric acid Now there is two sides. Now the base of two sides attached with each other by hydrogen bond. The hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond and hydrogen bond are shown by the dot structure. So these bases are attached with each other by hydrogen bond. In between A and T means adenine and thymine, two hydrogen bonds are found, and in between G and C, guanine and cytosine, the three hydrogen bonds are found. So such type of means these are the nitrogenous base, understands? 
and these are the sugar nitrogenous base plus sugar is called to nucleoside and when nucleoside are test with phosphate that will form nucleotide so a nucleotide is formed in that by means of the structure will be double helical so but in the in the ribonucleic acid in place of thiamine there is uracil in the RNA in place of thiamine there is uracil and in place of in place of deoxyribose sugar the ribose sugar is found in case of ribonucleic acid and second it is a single helical structure single a standard structure so this is found in the uh, this condition is found uh, this is the composition of nucleic acid also because it is a polymer of nucleotides so many nucleotides combines to form nucleic acid so that is a macromolecules and this is found on the acid insoluble pool so this is about and about nucleic acid in the next class you will study in details so, so that is a nucleic acid this is two one is deoxyribonucleic acid second one is ribonucleic acid and they are composed of nitrogenous base sugar and phosphate and they are called nucleotide and so many nucleotides are arranged to each other and forms a nucleic acid and in that dna is the genetic material because due to DNA the parental characters transfer to their offsprings and ribonucleic acid is mainly part take part in the protein synthesis and it is also a ribonucleic acid also acts as genetic materials in many in some viruses now the next is the a structure of protein we know that protein is the combination of amino acids in the combination of and about for the first person who give the knowledge about protein watch Basilius and Moodle understand also he gave the idea and he used the word next up and it is a heteropolymers means different types of amino acids combines to fall in uh, the formation of protein so it is a polypeptide we have already studied about the polypeptides means and the amino acids two amino acids combines each other by peptide bonds
two amino acids combine each other by peptide bonds and liberates one molecule of water and so there are so many amino acids combined so so many peptide bonds are formed that's why it is called polypeptides poly means many so that is the about somewhat idea and you also know about 20 types of amino acids we know uh, alanine glutamine uh, glycine methionine aspartic acid glutamic acid so many so these are the these are some features of the protein now the Now classification of protein on the basis of composition. Classification of protein first on the basis of compositions. There are three types, one each. Simple protein, second conjugated protein, third direct protein. These are the three types of the protein on the basis of composition simple proteins means only amino acids amino acids a1 a2 a3 a1 a4 like that only amino acids are con uh, attached to each other by means of peptide bonds understand so it is a Linear arrangement of alpha amino acids. So, glycine, aniline, like that, they are the alpha amino acids. So, they are the linear attachment of the amino acids simply that is called simple protein. Now, the conjugate protein, when protein is protein plus any other means some none protein elements or compounds when protein is added with some other non proteinous compound then it will call conjugate protein understand as for examples Protein plus phosphorus is called phosphoprotein. Understand? Protein plus hmm. uh, metallic pigment like Fe and they are called chromoprotein they are colored understand and when it will Fe that you example the Hb globin a hemoglobin hemoglobin is a example of chromoprotein in this globin is a protein and with him means that is Fe it combines with that so, and if there is chromium, chromoprotein, metallic proteins, they are called metal, means that is metallic protein.
protein class lipid that is lipoprotein when protein is mixed with the protein, lipid that is called lipoprotein so these are the compounds understand these are the compounds which obtain by the addition of protein and some other non protein compound derived protein those compound which obtain from long chain of protein uh, as for example proteases peptones like it means they are derived from the protein those which derived from the protein jo protein se milte hain prapt hote hain that is proteases peptones they are called derived protein in such way the proteins are classified on the basis of composition